What is this, your boy? Raza B, coming to you from DTLA Live, that's downtown Los Angeles, and welcome to this week's edition of Raza's Rant. Before I get started for my YouTube people, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and click on that bell so you can receive notification each and every week as I upload a new video. And I know y'all, some of y'all gonna be wanting to know what the hell am I drinking. This is the birthday cocktail that I had this past week, and I'm still sipping on it all week, even though I have posted the new cocktail for Thanksgiving. It's out there too. So if you want the recipe for the Ronza's Rose Robust or that Pineapple Gobbler, make sure you visit my other YouTube channel, The Drink Master Ronza B, so you can get that recipe and make sure you subscribe because I upload a new drink every week. But we came here to today ain't what the hell we here to talk about. We here to talk about these motherfuckers. And, and, I, and every year for things, I have to come to y'all ass. It's about some shit that y'all got going on. So, you know, this year, y'all on this fucking new recipe shit. Come on. Really? New recipes that you have not tried on motherfucking Thanksgiving Day? Uh-uh. That's not what the fuck we doing. Y'all know damn well that's out of motherfucking bounds. I don't even know why you trying to even go there. It's not going to do it. It's not. That's not motherfucking Thanksgiving. You can't come to nobody's house with some shit you done just learned how to make. Ain't served it to no motherfucking body. But now you want somebody to try that shit for the first time on motherfucking Thanksgiving. I'm like, brother, man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. You cannot take that shit to the motherfucking family fucking dinner and think somebody going to motherfucking want it. Ain't nobody going to want it. You got to stop that shit. I know y'all y'all been out of work and shit. You done joined your little Zoom calls and shit and had your little Zoom uh, potlucks and shit. And now you done saw some shit that your coworker done posted. And now you trying to bring that shit to the Thanksgiving dinner. Uh-uh. We ain't fucking got... We not fucking doing that. You got to rehearse your shit. You got the shit you done practice on. You done saw some shit that... that, that that's one of your coworkers done low. First of all, you didn't even get a chance to taste that shit. She done put Skittles and raisins in the motherfucking potato salad, and now you own own that shit trying to drink it. Really? You 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 trying to eat that type of shit? Cause to, talking about cause the kids like well the kids don't pay no motherfucking bills, so they got to motherfucking eat whatever the fuck we put on the table. You not fucking up potato salad. You're not fucking up potato salad, putting Skittles and raisins and shit. Talking about it's colorful. Fuck colorful. No. If you want to add some colorful, guess what you need to do? Add some green bell pepper, some red bell pepper, and some motherfucking yellow bell pepper. That's the only motherfucking extra color you need in some damn potato salad. You're not ever adding Skittles and motherfucking raisins and marshmallows and shit in potato salad. That's what you're fucking not going to do. Because y'all done seen the shit. And then you ain't even never served the shit at home. And you want to bring it to the Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. Let me tell you something. Y'all done had, y'all been on lockdown all motherfucking year since motherfucking March. You done had plenty of time to get your recipes together and rehearse that shit. Okay? Even Patty LaBelle says she had to rehearse her lines before she said, I must have rehearsed my lines a thousand times. Until I had a memory. So you, yeah, you got to motherfucking rehearse your damn, your recipes. This ain't no practice run. Thanksgiving is not a damn day of practice. It's not a damn day of finding some new shit that your coworker done posted on the little damn Zoom call y'all had that you ain't even taste the shit. And now you want to add it to the motherfucking fucking Thanksgiving day dinner. No, it ain't going to happen. I can hear the story now. You calling your mama, mama? Yeah, my 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 coworker done posted some shit, and, and and see, mama ain't ready to cuss you out yet. She ain't cussing you out yet. She just gonna say, okay, baby, do it. But you know what she gonna do? She gonna talk about your ass. She gonna call her sister Laura. So Laura, girl, you know what? Make your damn potato salad, cause I just got off phone with this heifer, and she talking about bringing some damn potato salad with some damn raisins and skittles and shit. We not doing that. So you just make your shit. And then we'll just put her shit in the corner. If she just want her damn kids to eat that shit, then we'll just let their asses eat that shit. Because that's not what the fuck we going to do on motherfucking Thanksgiving damn day dinner. It's come in with some new shit. And I'm going to tell you, for you motherfuckers that, that can't cook, stop it. Just stop it. Just be in charge of ice. Be in fucking charge of ice. I done told y'all. 
I posted earlier today that 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 uh, Chick Fil A food is not good. It's just everybody's just excited about the service. And for everybody that came in looking at me crazy, somebody blasphemy. You the main motherfucker that need to stay out the kitchen for motherfucking Thanksgiving dinner. Because if you think Chick Fil A bland ass food is good, then your ass don't know good food. Nobody could pre all of and even the motherfuckers that told me it was good. They couldn't provide no evidence. I like they fries because they sauces. No, you like the motherfucking sauce. You don't like the motherfucking fries. So if, if it wasn't for the sauce, then they'll tell you that the motherfucking fries ain't good. So you don't know how to motherfucking cook. And for all you other motherfuckers that don't know how to follow recipe, just don't know how to cook in general. Let me tell you something. Let me let you know whether or not you know how to cook in general or don't know how to cook at all. If you in the kitchen with all the old school cookers and they tell you to put a pinch, a dash, or a sprinkle or something in something and you don't even know what the fuck they talking about, you don't know how to fucking cook. They're going to look at you like, you don't know what the fuck I mean when I say a sprinkle, a dash, or a pinch. If you don't know that, you, you done fucked up already. That's almost like being on the spades table and don't know when to cut and when not to cut. You're not just going to come up in here and somebody got to explain to you. Because see me, I cooks. I don't own no damn measuring cup. I don't own no measuring spoons. I don't own no motherfucking timer. So if you feel you get one of my recipes and say, hey, Ronson, can you tell me how to make that? I'm going to give you all the motherfucking ingredients to go in it. Now, how much of this, how much of that, and what? how long I let it, I don't fucking know. I've been cooking long enough that I, like Bernie, I know when motherfucking shit is done. That's how the fuck I go. I know when the shit is motherfucking done. So don't motherfucking goddamn ask me. So if you don't motherfucking know when shit is done, then you don't know how to fucking cook. Go get the ice and, and set the motherfucking tables and the chairs and shit up. That's what the hell you need to do. And all you mother and we had a debate earlier. People want to use Jiffy Mix for their dressing. I need my Mississippi folks to tap in on this one. Keita May, Desiree, I need y'all to say some shit. Tasha, say some shit. Ain't no damn body making no Jiffy Mix cornbread for their dressing. You say that shit for the muffin pans. Save it for the little muffin pans and the little cute muffins that you want to add some nuts and some blueberries or whatever the fuck else you want to add to it. You ain't taking no fucking Jiffy Mix and making cornbread and then going to try to put some fucking dressing on it. That shit is out of bounds. That is a flag on the plate. You need to be dropped off the other side of the motherfucking earth if you're using Jiffy Mix for your bread, for your dressing. Because that ain't how that shit go. I'm plant-based. And I use cornbread. My shit is organic because I don't like eggs and all that shit. I use cornmeal, organic ground cornmeal. I add a little bit of spelt flour. I add a little gambonzo bean flour and a little flaxseed for my egg base to make it like I want it made. And then I make it rise. Cause, and I don't even use no motherfucking baking soda. So let's let you know I'm cooking because I ain't using no motherfucking baking soda. But y'all out here using Jiffy Mix for your motherfucking dressing. No, say that Jiffy Mix for your little cornbread muffin pans. That's all that's for. Put, your, put some little nuts on it, sprinkle some damn sugar on it, and, 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 and add whatever type of glaze or shit that you want to fucking be on it, and put that shit on the table for just bread. Don't be fucking up good dressing. I saw some dressing today. I don't know whether it was motherfucking dressing a veggie soup. And, she didn't put, and, see, and I'm going to be watching for y'all tomorrow. I'm posting tomorrow. I want y'all to post your little plates because I'm going I'm to be critiquing plates tomorrow. If you so bold and know your cooking so good, I want you to post your plate because I'm going to talk about your damn plate. We ain't doing that. If your shit, if your damn dressing look like I saw you. If your dressing look like veggie soup with a little cornmeal poured on top of it, I'm going to call the shit out. I'm going to call it. I saw somebody posted a yam casserole today. Why are you posting a yam casserole and it looking like yam soup? Why so much water in your casserole? And she had two, what, two marshmallows on that motherfucker. No, that ain't cooking. That ain't cooking. I don't know what you're doing. Now, it's okay to prep food for tonight for tomorrow prepping and pre 
and preparing, getting ready for tomorrow, it's a different story. Now, if you cooking whole damn meals and then you're going to reheat that shit up tomorrow for Thanksgiving, then y'all just going to be having motherfucking leftovers for Thanksgiving. That's all y'all motherfucking having is leftovers. And I just want y'all to know, this ain't what the fuck we doing. 2020 is about to be over with. It's been a fucked up year. But don't y'all take this bullshit over to 2021. Next year. And see, this is the part that pisses me off. Y'all done had all year because you've been on motherfucking lockdown. You done had lockdown. You done had time to practice and rehearse your motherfucking recipe. But y'all coming up here on the first day and talking about you bringing this shit for the first time. Ain't nobody cooked it. Ain't nobody tasted it. First of all, if this your time, first time trying out a recipe, try that shit out on your family at home first before you bring it to everybody else. See if your husband and your kids like it. If they don't like it, they need to tell you. Husbands, I need you to be, be truthful to your wives. This ain't a time to be motherfucking lying. Because if she start practicing and rehearsing on time, let her know that the shit ain't good. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get cussed out more for lying to her, telling her that shit was nasty than you are for lying to her. And see the, see the cussing out from you first telling her it wasn't good. It's not going to be bad because now she get a chance to motherfucking work on it. But if you tell her that nasty shit was good and then you let her bring it before the family and the family drag her ass. And you done lied to her, now your cussing not about to be much, 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 much worse. And you ain't getting none. You ain't getting no Thanksgiving nookie at all. Because you done let her bring some shit that you did not tell her was nasty to the family. See, she had a couple of months to retweak the sheet, but you done lied. You got to let her know. Husbands, let her know. If she rehearsing months before thanksgiving and she trying to ask you does this taste good tell her if it don't taste good no baby this ain't good you need to add this that and this and then you might need to start over again but if you let her take that shit to the family and she get dragged for it, oh trust me buddy she gonna she gonna be in on your ass so husbands be truthful to your wife let them know if the shit is good or if the shit ain't good don't let them come marching in before the family with some bullshit that you know, especially if you spend in family with your family or her family. I don't know who's going to drag the, the worst, her family or your family. It, it's still going to be a dragon for her bringing some shit that just ain't right. So let her know the shit ain't good. Baby, you need to add some more salt. You need to add some more nutmeg. Whatever you need to add, you need to add. No, Lakita, don't be worried about my damn tips in this. I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all how to, I'm speaking motherfucking facts right now. So that's what I'm doing. So in the grand scheme of things, do not bring recipes that you didn't that have not been rehearsed, have not gone through proper motherfucking protocol and proper approval to motherfucking Thanksgiving dinner. And again, let me talk about you Chick-fil-A folks. If you the motherfuckers that don't know how to cook, don't know the difference between a pinch or dash or a sprinkle, get your ass out the kitchen. Don't come over there with nothing. Go outside, set up tables, put down tablecloth, and get the fucking ice together. That's all we need you to do. Again, this has been your boy, Ron B. Again, coming to you live all the way from DTLA. That is downtown Los Angeles, California. And I am here. I'm telling you, I'm crunk. I'm, I'm making a one-man feast for tomorrow because I'm going to eat damn good. For my YouTube people, because this video will be on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, click on that bell, so you can receive notifications each and every week when I upload a new video. Make sure you share the video, like, and comment with me. And just remember, your comments or your posts just might become one of Ross's rants. Y'all be good. I got to go. I got some real damn cornbread in the motherfucking stove. That's cooking it. it ain't no motherfucking Jiffy Mick. And I need to go make sure it's going to be done. So I can make sure my damn dressing is all right. Y'all be good. Peace out. Happy Thanksgiving.